Panin lives with her family in Gaza City. She goes to school and dreams of being an engineer one day. But Hanin, like everyone in Gaza, currently has a big problem. Gaza has a power demand of 450 megawatts. In terms of supply, the Gaza power plant provides 60 to 70 megawatts of power. About 20 to 30 megawatts are imported from Egypt, and 70 to 120 megawatts from Israel. As a result, citizens of Gaza typically have, at best, 12 hours of power per day. During periods of political disagreement or military conflict, this is reduced even more to as little as two hours per day. Hospitals, schools, and other critical facilities are struggling to function under these conditions. And of course, Hanin cannot finish her homework. Is there anything that Hanin's dad and everybody in Gaza can do to change the situation? Let's see what the alternatives are. One solution is to convert the Gaza power plant to run on natural gas, which is cheaper and cleaner than the expensive diesel fuel currently used. That would take a minimum of four to five years to implement. Until then, importing power from Israel would be cheaper than continuing to run the Gaza power plant on diesel fuel. This means more electricity for Gazans at a cheaper price. A third idea is solar energy. Gaza benefits from sunny days all year long, but until now, solar energy has been an untapped resource. However, rooftop solar panels can be installed on almost every building in Gaza. Over the past five years, the costs for solar panels have dropped by 80%, and there are now opportunities for Gazans to buy rooftop solar systems in monthly installments. A World Bank study shows that rooftops in Gaza have the potential to produce over 150 megawatts of solar energy. That's more than double the current annual production of the Gaza power plant. Distributed rooftop solar systems allow consumers to have electricity, even if part of the grid is damaged. Hospitals can continue life-saving treatments. Water supply, sewage treatment, telecommunications, and businesses can all continue to function. This reliable, clean, locally produced power supply, combined with additional power imports and the Gaza power plant operating on natural gas, has the potential to ensure full power supply to Gaza for future generations. Mm -hmm.